mandala or mandal originates from the Sanskrit language that literally means a circle. So my very first tip is learn to draw a mandala grid. There are two different ways to draw a mandala grid. First is by using a compass. Draw a straight line. Draw a perpendicular bisector on it so that you can find the center of the circle. Now draw a circle. I have drawn a circle of radius 3 cm. Now we will divide the circle into more parts using the bisector method. Repeat the same process if you wish for further divisions. you have a mandala grid of 16 equal divisions. Now you can draw as many circles as you want for your design. Let's move on to the second method using a protector. Draw a straight line, mark the center, align the center with the zero of the protector. You can see the angles, I'm dividing them into divisions which are 30 degree apart. So it will be 30, 60, 90, 120, 150 and 180. Same angles on the opposite side of the line as well. So that we can join them using straight lines. You can divide your mandala grid into various divisions such as 10 degree apart, 20 degree apart, whatever you wish for. Join the points with a straight line so that you will get a mandala grid. Now you have a mandala grid of 12 equal divisions. Now you can use any of the two methods to draw a mandala grid. Let's move on to the tip number two. Practice drawing patterns. Decide your pattern, use your imagination, what will look good and which pattern are you comfortable with drawing it again and again. Practice them before drawing them on your actual mandala drawing. You can use pencils to avoid mistake. Once you get the hang of it and which pattern you are comfortable with, you can create your own patterns as well. Mandala is all about symmetry, so keeping that in mind, you can use a grid notebook to practice your patterns. I will help you with it. Use lines of the grid as guidelines for your pattern. There are a number of patterns you can draw. You can draw a leaf pattern, a pattern which has a pointed arch, or here I am drawing something which is like a reverse S pattern at the top. You have to draw the mirror image on the other side as well. For the next pattern, again draw two lines and now I am drawing somewhat of a pointed arch and you have to just copy them in the mirror image fashion on the other side. Next one I am drawing is a rounded arch. You can practice small patterns as well. Now here are some other patterns you can also draw. After drawing the shapes, you need to fill them with intricate designs. So here comes my tip number 3. Experimentation. Draw double borders to give your mandala a more neat look. Use fine liner pens to draw intricate design.
You can also combine two different patterns and make it a new one, as I have shown in the video. You can experiment as much as you like with the patterns. This is how you can create a new pattern of your own. You can also try your hand on dot shading or simply shading for that matter. You may also use colored pens to give your mandala a more vibrant look. Now it's time for the most important tip which is be patient. Practice patient while drawing a mandala drawing. Mandala is a kind of art therapy. The process of drawing repetitive patterns is therapeutic. Draw slowly. You will see that your patterns are more precise if you give your 100% concentration to it. See how slowly I am drawing. This is my actual speed of drawing a mandala. And this is the speed up version. If you remember from my art supplies video, I gave you one tip about using fine liner pens. So use broader tip pens for the borders and use more finer line pens for intricate patterns. Now it's time for my very last tip which is have fun. Enjoy the process of drawing a mandala and creating something out of nothing. Get inspired, use color pens or just fine liner pens of black color. It doesn't matter. Just enjoy the process. I'm telling you this is the best feeling I get whenever I draw a mandala. Drawing a mandala is a stress relieving process. Your mind becomes a blank slate and you feel so light. I want you all to experience this art form as I have experienced it personally. Please, I would like to hear your thoughts about it. Share your feelings with me in the comment section. And also, if you like my drawing, if you find value in my content, please show your support by hitting like and subscribing to my channel.